Hey everybody, it's Monster Art School. I'm starting a little late. <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh, here we are. Uh, yesterday we did this lovely rat pirate character. And today we are going to do a fox warrior. Um, just because I like foxes. They're cool looking. And I thought it'd be fun. And I've got my little greyhound here with me. My dog, Gray, my dog Blossom, she's been hanging out in my studio today. I don't know why. She usually leaves me alone. Today she's like, hanging out. I don't understand. Hi, Penelope. How you doing? So something I want to do before I get anywhere on this drawing is you have to give me one sec to get my photo reference out because I want to make sure that we got some a good fox thing going on. So give me one second. Boxes. Okay. So now once I get my printout done, I always like to try and make sure that the animals I'm drawing look like the actual animals to some degree. <laughs> Before I just go making stuff up. So here's a bad printout from my computer of a fox. And now we're going to draw a fox warrior guy. So, or a girl, I don't know, could go either way. So let's see, um, the things we want to look for in the fox, let's see what we got here. We always want to look for what our shapes are, right? So here's a triangle for one ear, here's a triangle for another ear. The head has these triangles on the cheeks. The nose is kind of a straight block, but then this round, and you've got some eyes like that. So we got to keep that in mind that our head is going to kind of have that shape to it. So as we go, let's, let's start to look at how we're going to draw this fox character. So first thing we're going to do is always start with a light uh, <laughs> ellipse. And then we're going to just decide the head's going to go in this direction, kind of like that photo um, that I had just for make it a little simpler on us. And then from back here, I'm gonna bring the neck down. And if you look at the way the fox's neck comes right off the back of his head up here, I'm gonna keep that going. So we'll have the neck come down like this, and then we'll bring the body. So the neck is just a curve, and we'll put a torso here, okay? So you get the head and the torso. And then let's draw a tube down from there. Center line works too. And then we'll draw a smaller sphere there, or ellipse. Um, now, I was saying something about an archer before, so I think that's what we're going to go with. So we want his shoulders, or her shoulders, to be here and here we're gonna have this shoulder we're only gonna see this part of it because we want it to look like it's away from us and this shoulder we're gonna see the front of it because it's coming toward us okay so we've got that now we've got the center of the body going like this and that's gonna come down to the center of the pelvis down here and I think if you're gonna shoot arrows you're gonna have to have your legs spread so let's draw the flat of the body like this so see how we're gonna get this kind of arc here and then from here we'll draw an ellipse for the upper leg another ellipse for the upper leg there and these guys have similar legs to dogs so we're gonna draw 
from the bottom of that ellipse that we drew here, we're gonna draw a little circle for the knee, and then we'll draw a cylinder coming down like so. And each one, remember a cylinder, not two lines, but a cylinder. You wanna make sure you're thinking about it in three dimensions, right? So we're looking down on this cylinder, looking down on that cylinder, looking through it. And then that's going to be where the ankles go. And then we're going to go down to the feet. Let's make this a little bit more fun. Let's give it an angle here like this. Remember, still a cylinder out to the ankle and then out like this. And you can draw a little curve shape there for the paw. And then here we'll have the ankle there and we'll have another tube coming toward us and just a curve shape for the toes for now. So now we're gonna get up to the arms here. Let's get this arm go back. Now this is gonna be hard guys because we wanna, we wanna show the arm going and holding the bow and arrow. So the way to do that is the arm has to go back out, I mean go out and then come back. And if you're doing the arrow right, you're pulling it up to your cheek. So if the fox's cheek is here, his paw is going to be somewhere like that, or her paw. So we're going to draw the leg going out like so, and then coming back in like this. And we'll, that'll be the basic movement of the chest. And then this arm, we want it coming toward us a little bit. So we'll have this section of the arm, so it's about that long. We can measure it to about here, and then that section of the arm, about that long, measure it. I'm gonna make it a little bit coming toward us so it'll be a little shorter, and we'll put a circle there for that arm. And we wanna make sure he has a nice, big, bushy tail, so we'll draw the tail coming out like this. Remember, it's gonna be nice and bushy. Now let's get that head in place. So right now the head looks a little awkward. Kind of looks like a, I don't know what, a circle with a line through it. So let's get back to that original ellipse that we had and we'll put that circle right there and we'll put his eyes or her eyes right there. And that way we know that the eyes go on either side of that crosshair in the middle of the face. Okay, so now we've got our eyes placed. Let's look at the fox. So eye, eye. So let's get, let's get the triangle should be right about up here. We'll throw a big triangle ear here. And then we'll throw another triangle ear there. And the ears are really big, so we could even probably get bigger with them if we wanted to. Foxes have really big ears. And then we've got I'm going to have the forehead like this and then bring this out to the cheek, which is a triangle. Remember that big triangle right there? And we'll bring that cheek out there to that other triangle there. <clears throat> and then in between here, we can throw a flat piece and then we'll throw a rounded nose, and then we'll make that flat piece come back to build up the cheeks and the eyebrows and the forehead of the fox. Now, right now that's just a basic fox head. I think we need to make this look a little bit more dashing. So let's let's have his eyebrow up like this and this one down like that like he's trying to size up an opponent with his bow and arrow and maybe we'll bring a mouth around like this and give him a smile and maybe his tongue sticking out back here like he's thinking about how he's going to aim that arrow and then this eye you can squint in It's all sometimes in these little details that make it more of a character and you end up telling more of a story with the character that way. Well, I want his eyes a little bit out like this. 
Okay. And we want to make sure that the nose doesn't just look like a ball. So think of the nose as having a flat top and a front side like that. So see, it's kind of a box. And then you just get rid of those lines. But you want to make sure you remember that there's a surface that turns there. See? So now, let's get under there. Let's get these hairs out like so. Now I'm looking at this and I'm feeling like that head is a little big for the body right now. So we'll see how we can adjust that because I think I kind of made the head a little long, a little large. But that could be fine. I don't know. We'll see. So one thing I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to adjust this arm. First of all, we got to get the paws in here. So... Let's put a paw here. Now, since he's going to be holding a bow and arrow, he needs to hold his bow and arrow like this. So we're going to show, let's put the paw like this. We'll give it two knuckles for the first two fingers, or whatever you call them. Okay. I don't know what you call the individual digits on a paw. And we'll go... Yeah, I don't know how many fingers dogs have. I think they have four like we do. They're just different. So we'll go like that. And his thumb would be somewhere back here. And then we'll accentuate that... that, oh, that uh, what's this called? Not the ankle. Wrist. Then we'll bring this out like so. Okay. And then we'll bring this in. Now on this arm, I think he's looking the wrong direction. So let's have him look this way. Let's make this hand big. The reason is, as thing gets closer to us, as things get closer to us, they should be bigger. So we'll make this hand nice and big. And we'll kind of do the same thing we did there. So we'll knuckle, 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 knuckle. And we'll second knuckle like that. And then down to the fingers here. And we can have his thumb. Here, not that foxes have thumbs, but we have to do something here to make it feel like he can actually hold a bow and arrow. Maybe we'll just go. No, no, he needs he needs that fourth, that pinky. He needs that there. And then we'll draw an arc like that for the arrow I and mean for the bow. Now for the arm. Right now we have the arm going up and down. I think I'm going to bring the arm down to the elbow and then up to the shoulder like that. So remember, think about it like spheres. I mean, uh, spheres and volumes. Um, I'm trying to think of the word. Cylinders, not, not just lines. So this should be a cylinder. And it's coming toward us. So the inside of the hand would look like that be a line like this. Okay, now, uh, the chest, they have kind of furry chests, so let's give a nice furriness there. And we'll put some more fur here. And we'll draw some more fur coming around like so. And now under here, let's bring this under and then we'll bring this around like so. And we can put some, let's give him a belt. I think he needs a shirt. What do you guys think? Maybe a, let's give him a shirt. So we'll bring this fur down like so. 
and then we'll... <laughs> yes. Fox chest hair. <laughs> and we'll give him a nice, like, kind of a, what we call it, a classic uh, big sleeve shirt. So think about the shirt as a tube that wraps around the arm. And the tube goes in the other direction, at least the sleeve, sorry. And then we can have that overlap. And we'll bring this down like so, and we can have the shirt open like that. Just giving it a little bit of flair with this curve here, just to kind of have fun. Now, let's give him a belt. Remember we talked about yesterday belts? It's just like a ribbon. So you want to draw it like from the inside in here and then around the object to the far side. And then we can put a belt buckle here. It's just basically could be a box if you want. Or you can make it more elaborate, make it feel a little bit more belty. You could put... You know, does he carry things in little pouches? Let's see. I think maybe he does. So we'll draw... Ah! My pencil died. Look at that. We'll draw a... Uh, essentially a... A box here. Which is essentially a cube, just longer than it is tall. Okay. And then, to make it look like a pouch... You just soften the edges here. And then we're going to draw over and around it like so. And now you've got the flap on the top of the pouch. And you can put a little button there. Um, this looks a little awkward. Let's, let's bring it like that. I think that's better. Put a button there. Hi, Possum. That's my dog, Possum. Well, she's actually Blossom, but I call her Possum because I think it's cute. So now, let me fix that eye because that's the eye that should be down because he should be squinting with the closer eye and then having the other eye bigger. So we'll make this eye rounder. Like so. Now he looks like he's concentrating. And then for the inside of this ear, we can just draw some fur sticking out. And do the same over here. And if you want to get into detail, just draw some shading on there. We don't have to do this just yet, but I'm doing it for fun. So now, let's see here. Let's get back to the legs. So right now, I feel like his legs should be longer. They should at least be as long as his arms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring his knees out a little further, like so. So he looks like he's crouching. So he's crouching about to shoot. So we'll bring his leg out. Hi, Blossom. And then we'll bring, create that knee again. Blossom, keep sitting in my arm. With her nose. I think she wants to go out. Um, one of my kids should be doing that. Because I'm supposed to be working right now. Hey, possum. It's okay. It's okay, bro. Um, hey, guys! Oh, well. I might have to cut this short uh, to take the dog out. So here. We'll get the knee here. And then we'll... Bring this back like so, and we'll come out with the toes like that. And the tail, let's make it furry. Come around like this. I kind of want to do a, a more finished version of this one. Get the, the uh, what's that called, the bow in, and then we'll draw a straight line to here and you can do a number second straight line like that 
right through there. And then on this end, you put a nice big arrowhead. Now I'm just doing kind of a simple arrowhead. Um, I used to think arrowheads would look like this, but that's not accurate to most medieval stuff, so I'll give it a little point like so. Yeah, that dog needs to go out. And we'll have the leather strapping here that you always wear on your hand, on your bow so that you can keep your hands from getting ripped by the bow. And then you have to put the feathers back here. And then we'll draw the line from the back of the feather to the bow out here. And uh, let's get some fur there. And I think his knees, I don't know, is he wearing pants? I guess he's wearing pants, so we'll, we'll give him pantalones here. And remember, pants, the way to draw clothes and pants is just think about where the clothing is going to gather. So if it gathers here under the leg, which it always does because of the the crotch area, there's going to be these areas where it's going to fold under, under where the leg meets the torso or the hips. And then also where the knees go, it's going to pinch. So you get these pinches in here. So just look at the clothes you're wearing and say, where does my, where do my clothes pinch when I make that, when I make that, uh, position with my body and you'll find that your answer will be right there. Let's give that arm a little bit of fur here. We'll go under. I kind of feel like this arm is too far forward or his head's too far forward. So I'm going to fix that by bringing his arm down a little. Remember, pinching right here. The cloth's going to pinch around his arm. And then we'll, in order to make that tube feel like it's coming toward us, make it rounder on the bottom. There. Okay, now we can just get the ankles and then toes. We can just create these kind of bean shapes for the toes. They don't have to be very elaborate. And remember, as they go back, they're going to overlap. So really, the only one you're going to see the full toe is the closest one. Same over here. You're going to have one like that. And then I always go down, around, and under. So down, around, under. And then... And that's not really actually accurate. I don't like that. Um, I think what's going to happen with this foot is the toes are going to kind of curl under. So he'll have this toe like this. And then this toe will kind of do that. And then this one will do this. And like that. Because they're not quite stretched out. I'd have to look at some fox feet to really figure that one out. But, uh, yeah, so... Here we go. Now I'm going to say what's cool about, I'm thinking this guy's a red fox and red foxes tend to have black paws. Um, so I'm going to clean this drawing up a little bit and I'm going to throw some shading over the hand here and bring it back into the paw. And I'll do the same over here. And the same down here. I think I'll let his toes go to white. Just cause. And I'll let this go like this. Shade that in. Whoops. This has to have clothes on it. So let's get, let's look at what we did over here. We made a thick tube. So I'm gonna draw over under the pinch and then we'll hang the pants out like so. And the knee should be right about there. And we'll draw shadows like so. And and there we go. We've got a fox. Um, 
We could do some other things to this, like play around with like how the feathers go on. Um, can put the fox in better clothes, because these are not really great clothes. Let's give him a collar here. Kind of make him a little more fashionable fox. Fashionable fox here. Um, I like that he's got his tongue out like that. Make sure his nose looks like it's dark. This line kind of cuts right through his face there. So let's... And ordinarily, I would do a little extra time thinking about whether I wanted the, the line to go through his face or not. But in this case, I think it's okay because it's supposed to look like he's getting ready to shoot. Let's fur up those ears a little bit more. Do the same to the arms here. And really what all I'm doing is kind of randomizing these lines a little bit more so that they don't feel quite so like regular. Once they look too regular, they don't look like fur anymore. They look like speed lines, like action cartoon speed lines. And let's see, he probably needs, let's say he has a strap going around his chest like this. So his shirt would pinch there. And that strap, so you have to bring his shirt in to the strap like that. And you can put a decoration on the strap if you want, like, like so. And then back here, think of a cylinder back there. And we can have quiver of arrows we don't need to see them all just need to see some to indicate that they're there just hide them behind his head and Make his belt. I don't know. I'm not so hot on the belt right now. Maybe his belt needs a pattern on it, I think, to make it look a little cooler. So let's give that belt the same pattern he's got on his strap. Not the greatest pattern in the world, but it's there. And we'll throw, like, you know, similar pattern on his bag. like so, and maybe he has another bag over here and we'll just make that go like so. And uh, yeah, so there you go. I think we have a, a fox warrior ready to go shoot some arrows at some poor unsuspecting ferrets or something. <laughs> and here I'll just draw some zigzags for the grass because supposed to be moving real fast. Imagine he's just jumped into action. You know, and you can throw maybe some trees back here if you like. And just creating some abstract shapes to give the sense of trees and... and you know, try to remember the, the shapes that leaves that you see on trees and how they look and, and then try to just kind of draw around the shapes that the leaves make because you can't really draw every individual leaf because then you go crazy. So what I always do is I just kind of draw the basic outline shape of what those leaves kind of look like. Throw some more grass back here. And then you got a picture. All right. Take that, ferrets, exactly. So uh, that was a lot of fun. I like doing these animal warrior guys, so we could do more of these. Um, I think they're, they're, for me at least, they're exciting, they're fun, they're kind of unique. So anyway, um, I'm going to sign this puppy. Maybe next week we'll ink some of these ones because that'll be fun to ink this guy up uh, and some of the other animals. So we have a mouse, we have a rat, we have a fox. Maybe we need some other animal suggestions, guys. So... Uh, 
anyway, I'd love to see your drawings. I saw someone's mouse the other day. It looked great. I think it was Maggie's. I'm not sure, but it looked great. Um, and send me some more, you know, suggestions of what you want to see, uh, more characters, more creatures. And, uh, I will see you all on Monday. Have a happy holiday this weekend. Uh, try not to get sick. Um, <laughs> cause I know how easy it that will be. Uh, try not to get sick. Try to be safe. Wear a mask if you can. Um, don't, don't get yourself sick. <laughs> anyway, have a great weekend and I will talk to you all on Monday. Yeah, that is a weird intersection. I can work on that. Again, that's one of those things where you have to do later, you know? Oh, the dachshund. That's right. I forgot about the dachshund. Sorry. And a cat. Okay. See you later, everyone.